When you simply need to collect information, Airtable's forms are a great resource. Forms are generated from the information in a table, so your existing fields are automatically included. And when anyone fills out the form, their response will instantly appear as a record in your table. Let me show you how it works. First, navigate to the table where you'd like new information to be added. For example, if I'm using Airtable as an applicant tracker for hiring purposes, I'll navigate to my table for applicant info. Open the Views menu and select the option to create a new form. There are many ways to customize your form. Let's start by adding a header image and a logo. I'll also change the form's title and subtitle. Airtable automatically preloads all of your existing fields into the form, and you can edit them any way you like. I can change the name of any field for the form, and make certain fields required. I can also readjust the positioning of fields in the form. Or I can remove them entirely if they're not necessary. Remember, these changes only apply to the form, so they won't affect your table's format or structure in any way. If, as you're creating your form, you realize that you need another field, it's easy to add it in. This will create a new field both on your form and in your table. Now that you've finished designing your form, let's share it. Navigate to the Share menu in the view bar. If you're part of a ProPlan workspace, you can further secure your form's share link by restricting access with a password or by an email domain. Once you're satisfied with these settings, copy and share the link with relevant parties. And when they click the link to your form, this is what they'll see. Once they fill it out, their response will be added directly to your base. If you're looking for a way to share the information already in your base with an external party, you may want to try creating a read-only base share link. This is a great solution if you want certain people to stay up to date with your workflow, but you don't want them to make any changes. In the Share dialog, navigate to the Link section and select Read-only permissions. Once again, if you're part of a ProPlan workspace, you can further secure your share links by restricting access by an email domain. Now, anyone who has access to your base through this link will be able to view all of its information. If you'd prefer to share only a specific view instead of the entire base, you can also create a view share link. Navigate to the view you'd like to share and click the share icon in the view bar. Choose the option to create a shareable grid view link. Anyone who receives this link won't be able to alter your customizations or information in any way. So any fields you've hidden or records you've filtered out will be invisible to them. However, it's important to keep in mind that there is an option to allow the viewer to see all fields in expanded records. In other words, if you've hidden fields from this view, they won't appear on the actual grid. If I turn this option on, the external party will be able to see any of the hidden fields and the info in them when they expand a record. Toggle this option on or off, depending on your needs. Again, for those on a pro plan, you have the additional option to restrict access. And here's what people will see when they click your link. The viewer has the option to adjust the structure of this view, but they cannot edit any of the actual information. And if you have any more questions, feel free to visit our support articles, refer to our community forum, or write in to us directly. Thanks for watching.